I'm not gonna stand here and be lectured by you. Who the hell do you think you are? This is my company. Is this how you normally manage your staff? You, you just, what, you what? You, you summon the peons and yell at them? Intimidate them? Threaten their jobs? Or, or is that special treatment reserved for my cousin and my yeah, girlfriend? I don't have to explain anything to you, friend. Oh, I wish you would, Rick, because you sound pretty damn You know right what now. your cousin did. Betrayal. Betrayal. And so I'm supposed to handle her with some sort of special care? Everybody's so concerned about, about Caroline's fragile feelings. Well, what about mine? I have to see her every day, working with him every single day. I didn't create this situation, this, this untenable situation. She did that all by herself. And now she has to deal with the fallout. Or you could leave, which I think is a better solution for all of us. I already told you, Rick, I'm not unsympathetic. You got hurt, it happens, it sucks, we deal with it. It is not an excuse to treat people like crap. If you just fired her, at least that would be clean, but you, you you're, you're breaking her spirit. I mean, you're making her life a living hell, Rick. You're manipulating her, you're lying to her, and you're rubbing your relationship with Maya in her face. Because he still loves her. Stay out of this or you can follow her out of here. Whoa, whoa, Don't you whoa, whoa, whoa me. I am CEO. I can fire whoever I damn oh, well please. Oh, God, you love saying that, don't you? I'm the CEO of this company. Well, why don't you back it up instead of acting like a pissed off little child? Do you think your father would be proud of you right now? Do you think he'd be proud that he left the future of Forrester Creations in your hands? Do you think that you are in any way being fair? Because if I know anything about your history with this company, Rick, it's that you of all people should know what it feels like to be treated unfairly. <laughs>